start or um, anybody know from anybody that's still looking for the right room? Last chance. Okay. Um, yeah, welcome to the talk, how to get your extension 1.6 ready. Um, this uh, is mainly aimed at uh, people uh, that have their 1.5 extension and want to port it uh, to 1.6. Um, first of all, um, earlier today um, I also uh, co-hosted the um, presentations from Andrew Eddy. He made uh, two videos um, and, and the later one uh, was uh, cover, uh, covered a lot of the stuff that I'm going to talk about. Um, unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to show it a uh, whole because um, the video is two hours long and um, the slot was just one hour, as you know. Um, I talked to him, or, or he announced on, on the Joomla Bug Squad mailing list um, that he's going to provide uh, a video uh, a documentation on um, the changes of uh, Joomla 1.6. Um, or from 1.5 to 1.6. Uh, so I think uh, the video that I started to show uh, this morning will also be uh, available online uh, soon. If not, um, feel free to mail him and tell him um, that, uh, yeah, he promised. <laughs> so, um, yes. Do we need to change uh, our extensions? Um, in in a lot of uh, cases, um, especially the small extensions, you won't have to do uh, to make a, a lot of changes. The the um, it's it's more the subtle things, like um, the language files. Uh, all language files uh, need to be rewritten um, because we um, change from the uh, standard uh, um, or from from uh, our own ini parser uh, to the PHP any uh, parser that's a little bit uh, more picky uh, with the syntax. Um, and we changed um, our XML files for the extensions uh, a little bit. And of course, the ACL system. Um, about the language changes. With uh, changing from our PHP based or our uh, own in PHP written uh, any parser to the PHP pars uh, any parser that's built in, the native one, we got uh, a massive speed improvement. It's um, responsible for most of the uh, speed improvement that we've got from uh, 1.5 to 1.6. I know, class, you disagree, but on, on my laptop, I've got uh, um, a speed difference of about 50%. So 1.6 is uh, double as fast as 1.5 um, in, in the standard installation. Um, yeah, basically um, what this requires is that all um, we, we, in, in the ini file you always have the uh, key and value pair and that all values uh, need to be quoted with double quotes and uh, that the keys uh, only consist of the um, alphanumeric characters, no uh, exclamation marks, no uh, full stops and all that stuff that's um, creating invalid keys. Um, and quotes in, in the values um, are escaped with um, double quote, underscore, double Q, underscore, double quote. Um, it's, it's a little bit, um, yeah, complicated, but it's um, the only way um, we, can, we can really cater for all uh, different um, PHP versions. PHP 5.2.7, I think, uh, does it differently than 0.8, and 0.9 again uh, has a different uh, syntax, and in, in uh, 5.3.0 uh, it changed again. So um, this is for the um, a simple uh, a double uh, a quote is uh, escape with this special quote. Okay. Um, this is an example, um, as you can see, um, web link saved equals web link saved has to be um, quoted. And one special thing we've got um, in, in um, 1.5, we got yes and no and uh, true and false and um, one second. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, those are um, 
reserved words uh, in the PHP native parser, and um, that's why we prepend the um, yes key with a J. Um, we also have a J no and J true and J false and uh, all that stuff. I think should be obvious. Um, yeah, and. Although uh, the native parser uh, is not that picky, uh, we created a specific um, naming scheme um, where we um, don't allow um, spaces in the key. Um, these are replaced with underscores and um, we are also in 1.6 namespacing um, all the keys. So you have a plugin or PLG underscore name of the plugin underscore and then the key, for example. Um, this is not a, um, a requirement. You can also still use your old keys as long as you uh, stick to um, yeah, quoting the values correctly and um, as long as you don't have uh, stuff like yes or no, um, I think and, I think and is also a problem um, in, in, in the key. Uh, you have to prepend that uh, with some some character. Um, by the way, the yes is also a problem if it's uh, somewhere inside the key. So if you have weplink weplink yes saved with uh, spaces around the yes, um, you will also run into the problem of the um, reserved word. XML changes. As I said before, we've uh, changed our um, installation manifest and we also changed um, the parameter uh, for the um, menu um, views, uh, for, for the views and the layouts in, in the menu manager. Um, this is mainly because we deprecated JParameter. Um, we can now uh, create complete forms, not just the parameters with JForm and uh, this is this al allows for uh, a lot of cool features uh, in, in 1.6 and in coming extensions. Um, yeah, basically you can do a search and replace where you have um, the params parameter, uh, the params tag you repla replace with fields and um, likewise with param and field. Um, if you want to um, group your parameter or, or your uh, fields in, in, in a separate way. Again, you can uh, use field set. Um, if you want to see uh, how it's done, uh, we've got this in the user manager in, um, in, in, in the back end and I think it's been fixed in the front end now too, um, where we have um, yeah, several sliders for, um, for, for the parameters with um, yeah, um, different field sets um, in, in the or in the XML we have um, the fields params for for the uh, um, table field params um, in, in the user table and then uh, all the fields and uh, these are grouped by the field set so uh, that you can have different sliders um, that all save into the params um, field in, in the user table. Are there any questions at this moment? Um, at this moment, um, or last time I looked, let's say it like this, last time I looked, uh, they are still unchanged. You really just have to do a search and replace. Um, about two months ago, I also uh, did a check and, and uh, um, looked if um, all the fields that are in, uh, available in JParameter are also available um, in J form and if they have the same syntax and at that time um, we were missing I think two or three and they've been uh, coded uh, since and, and should be identical. Although uh, most of the J form fields um, have some more parameters uh, that you can use but don't have to. Um, so basically you just go through your um, installation manifest, replace uh, params um, and param with fields or field and um, in, in the um, menu, um, in, in the views and the layouts uh, the same and then you're done. This would be an example. 
Okay, access system. Most likely the uh, most important uh, part of 1.6. Um, you know why we changed this and um, I hope you're all looking forward to using it in your own components. Um, you don't have to uh, do much to make your um, extension um, at least partially uh, aware of the ACL system. Um, that's basically uh, the group ID that we have here is deprecated. It, I don't know if we even have that in, in 1.6 anymore, but um, I, I don't think we have that variable anymore. Um, now we have the authorized levels. Um, how many of you were in the um, video presentation from Andrew uh, this morning? Okay, uh, because he uh, uh, talked about the authorized levels, um, the viewing levels that you're allowed to see. Um, is anybody not familiar with that? And I can shortly explain that. Okay, it's um, the, the, what's um, public, registered and special um, at the moment uh, can now be extended with um, an infinite number of um, yeah, access levels or viewing levels um, that you can define by your own. And um, with this little piece of code, um, you get an array of all the um, levels that, uh, or viewing levels that you're allowed to see. And um, just in, in the SQL, uh, instead of um, checking if the access um, level is, uh, for, for the item is lower than the access level that you're allowed to, um, you just check if the access level is in the number of uh, um, access levels that, or viewing levels that you're allowed to see. Um, yeah, any questions regarding this? Okay. Um, you can also uh, implement the access XML and the user authorize function. Um, I'm not going into too much detail on these um, because, uh, yeah, you can look at uh, them uh, in, in, ex in an example. For example, in the um, Weblinks component and uh, auth com um, user authorize uh, should be pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Or uh, am I missing something? <laughs> Um, I mean, it's it's for you. You um, should should be able to create your or update your extension after this talk. Um, if you have any questions, just raise your hand. Um, the access uh, XML um, can control which um, permissions are available in the content item that you're uh, about to edit. For example, if you um, have I don't know. You're, you're um, managing your sport, uh, sports leagues and you have um, a category uh, of, of um, no, that, that, that's, a, that's a bad example. I don't know, you, you have uh, uh, some, some, um, something like the article manager and um, then you want to um, yeah, edit the permissions of an article, for example. You have this little widget um, with the different permissions um, on the uh, lower right corner and you can set, okay, inherit, deny, and for, for, for example, create, edit, delete, and all that stuff. And um, with the access XML, uh, you can define which um, um, permissions are available uh, in that little widget. Joomla has some default uh, um, permissions, like create, edit, edit state, delete, uh, log in, and yeah, I think there are two more. Can think of it right now, but um, in, in the access XML, you can either reduce the number uh, by only including two or three permissions, or you can um, even add your own if you think you need more than those uh, seven from, from the Joomla uh, core. Um, no, there's a difference between uh, the viewing levels or the access levels. Um, those are defined globally um, in the user manager. 
and you can uh, define which group has access to which um, viewing level and then you can uh, create um, separate permissions for for a content item um, on uh, for to to a user group and um, those are basically two different uh, you you've got um, those access levels or authorized levels are just for the viewing permission and all the rest like create edit delete um, update, edit state, all that stuff is um, done via the access XML. Okay, maybe we can, uh, I can show you um, later, uh, yeah, after, after the talk. Um, yeah, here again um, from web links, a query, copy there, yeah. And um, yeah, in, in 1.5, you've got um, user authorize with a Z or Z, or, and uh, then this uh, syntax in, in uh, 1.6, we uh, corrected the spelling mistake that those people from down under make, and um, yeah, concatenated the, the whole string. Yeah, if you um, if you're working on uh, creating a native 1.6 extension, um, you could also use J um, these things. Uh, for example, J form for your forms. Um, this um, makes it possible to um, extend your um, yeah forms later on with a plugin. For example, uh, if you're creating um, a forum and you want to um, add um, special uh, smileys and, and emoticons, uh, you could use JFORM for the um, input uh, form for, for a forum entry and um, automatically put your um, emoticons uh, into that form at, at the correct position with JFORM. Sorry, what? And yeah, we've got J database query. Um, normally, you wouldn't um, really touch, uh, uh, or, or you wouldn't do a new J database query, but um, you can uh, get a new query object by um, calling get query from J database uh, with a um, parameter um, just boolean true, and then you can uh, create a query object where you um, yeah can select. Uh, or, or where you can uh, add selects and um, joins and, and all that stuff um, out of order and it's automatically, um, yeah, um, when, when it's um, handed over to JDatabase, it's, uh, it automatically creates the correct query with all the stuff that you need. And um, especially um, later on in 1.7, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, make a Joomla database agnostic and uh, make it possible uh, with this J database query that you can um, write one extension with this class uh, instead of direct SQL queries, and uh, it will create you, uh, or and, and it will work on MySQL, uh, Postgres, even maybe MongoDB, uh, without any changes from your side. Um, yeah. Then uh, we've got uh, a small change in um, the component entry file. The, um, for example, com content, uh, con the, the content PHP that we've got uh, in each in, in the front end and back end. Um, the uh, in 1.5, uh, you couldn't override um, the controller of, of an extension because it's uh, hard coded into the component. Instead, in 1.6, we've got jcontroller get instance, and that uh, gets you the correct controller, including uh, subcontrollers that you might have in, in a separate folder. It's, uh, it's actually pre pretty neat. And um, yeah, J categories, uh, I love that especially. <laughs> It allows you um, to, um, yeah, easily uh, handle categories in your own component without um, getting into all the querying the database, without um, having to check for um, the um, routing and all that stuff. It, it, yeah, 
it helps a lot. You you might want to look at um, the router in in com content, or uh, the different um, views for the, for the category system in com content. Um, one thing that we did in uh, 1.6 that um, you should pay attention to uh, in the future is that we moved all assets, so all JavaScript, all uh, images, all flash into the media folder, uh, which allows you uh, later on to really move all the um, all folders except for images, uh, the media folder and maybe um, the template folder. We'll see maybe in, in the future we'll move that too into media uh, out of the, the root of, of uh, the Joomla web, um, web space. And um, yeah, so so a proper a properly coded um, extension wouldn't use any uh, images from its own component folder, but from the media folder. Yeah, because the as well. yeah. So we've we've got just one media folder, all backend, all front end uh, um, assets are all in that media folder. Yeah, and of course um, you should use semantic tableless output. <laughs> where appropriate um, in, in your um, views and layouts. Okay. <laughs> um, here's an example for JDatabase query. Um, as you can see, uh, we've got the um, select from table where and then set query. And um, you could also just revert uh, the order of these um, three function calls and uh, still get the same result. Um, I'm actually not really sure if, um, if it supports subqueries, but it should. We, we've got a um, magic function that um, makes it, uh, that reformats uh, the query object to a string. And um, that should basically it should work with uh, subqueries too, but I never tried it, so I don't know at this moment. Yeah, and um, here an example for the um, controller changes that we did. And um, J categories, which allows easy, ha easy handling of uh, categories. Um, right, for uh, the uh, media, for the assets, um, we changed um, the APA functions um, to access those um, in, in JHTML in 1.5. We had those functions already, but they were basically crippled. Um, we rewrote them, and now um, if you use image, uh, JHTML image, style sheet, and script uh, to uh, implement, um, embed them into your, um, into your website, um, you can also override um, all those different assets um, in, in your template. So if you want, uh, you can have um, images in, in the media folder, and then uh, if you install a template, those, um, uh, that template could ship images um, for, that, um, for that special place in, in your extension, and um, that would um, override the, the, the original file in the um, media folder. Um, we've got basically the Joomla way would be going MooTools, so um, jQuery, <laughs> I don't know, um, but um, MooTools um, in, in 1.6 is going to be at least version 1.2, not the 1.1 from 1.5, from Joomla 1.5, and um, there is a no conflict mode um, so that you could run both uh, side by side. Um, but we don't have um, a distinctive um, yeah, manager that makes sure that you only uh, instantiate uh, one JavaScript uh, library at once, or, or from, from just one version of jQuery. Yeah. 
And last but not least, the uh, table as output. Um, Angie Rutke, I, I think she left a few minutes ago, but um, her Beast 2.0 template um, has been the, the basis uh, for the um, for all the layouts um, in, in 1.6, and um, she's the one to go to. Questions? Class. It's, it's um, if I'm not completely mistaken. Yeah, feel free to come uh, yeah, to the front and explain it. Okay. Yeah, I, I know you're working on documenting all that, and, and um, of course our documentation guru <laughs> is doing that too. And um, yeah, I hope that in, in, in the next few weeks we're going to uh, provide um, all of you with, with uh, proper documentation and um, a little how to, um, how to upgrade your extensions. Yes? In, in the in the which files? For creating front end when you might have some changes in the XML file which works in the order five or something like that. One second. Um, as I said before, mm, nee. yeah, um, the, the changes are um, both in, in the manifest file and in the um, layout. In, in that XML file that you use for the menu item. So uh, you also have to replace params with fields. That makes it a little bit uh, difficult to um, yeah, have, a, have a, um, one, one um, release that supports both 1.5 and 1.6. Um, you might be able to just um, put the, the um, fields part below the parameter part and um, yeah. I, I didn't test that, but um, in theory it should work. If not, file a bug. Yeah. Um, basically, the only thing that we changed is um, from Params to fields, and and so it, it should work. Basically, yes. No. No, we we are not supporting a legacy mode in uh, one point six, mainly because um, one point six uh, has ACL and one point five doesn't, and um, I, I'd say that there is um, hardly an extension that doesn't use uh, uh, the ACL system, and if it's uh, using um, the ACL system, it uh, will need to be touched up in in one point six anyway. Um, so we're not really uh, supporting uh, a legacy mode since the changes that I've been describing here are basically done um, for, for a um, normal small uh, extension um, in, in, uh, in a matter of an hour. Um, I know Community Builder might be a little bit more. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 
So basically, um, yeah, and it's it's not that much of work um, that we have thought it's um, really necessary that we uh, need a complete legacy mode. Since uh, 1.5 uh, won't be supported in uh, one year after 1.6 is released, <laughs> at least according to the leadership team, um, you shouldn't be maintaining or shouldn't have to maintain uh, more than one v version um, at, at, at one time. Um, no, we we don't have um, some some special mechanism in in the installer at this moment. We've got the upgrader. We've got um, so so um, the move from uh, 1.6 to 1.7 should be easier than from 1.5 to 1.6, as well as uh, the move from uh, um, 1.5 to 1.6 should be easier f than from 1.0 to 1.5. Um, <laughs> no, basically, um, I'm not uh, the one that wrote the installer, so uh, the best guy to go to would most likely be Sam Moffat. Um, he did the whole thing, and um, if you um, basically write the code, propose it on the Joomla Bug, uh, Bug Squad uh, mailing list, or on the normal Joomla mailing list, and um, I think if you do this fast, uh, it, it, it should be able should be possible to, to include it into 1.6. Yeah, yeah. No, you, um, you can um, yeah, create your own uh, installer type and, and um, create your, um, and, and um, yeah, link into the installer. But if you're talking about um, having a one-click install like uh, with Community Builder up till now, um, it's it's not really possible without um, no so we yeah any more questions any yeah yeah Honestly, uh, I don't completely know because um, that's something uh, that also Sam Moffat has been working on. Um, basically, what you need is um, the, the install package um, together with, um, in, in 1.5 you already had um, the install type uh, equals upgrade or something. And, and um, that works in 1.62. And um, if you, uh, I think you have to add um, a URL uh, to the manifest file, and then uh, in Joomla in the back end, uh, you can check if there is an upgrade uh, for that extension. And um, Joomla automatically uh, pulls um, that information from uh, your home server and um, yeah, reports, okay, we've got version 2.0. You click on a button, um, it retrieves uh, the package and installs it. How that works uh, in, in detail, um, you would have to uh, look into the documentation. <laughs> um, is there a documentation?
<laughs> yes? Um, no, they are not really that much different. Um, it, the, the difference is that you not, can't just um, drop the uh, module into the module folder anymore and uh, Joomla automatically detect, detects it. You first have to go into the installer and click on discover and then it will read um, the, the modules folder, the components folder, um, templates folder, see if there are any new uh, items in there and then um, propose for you to install that. And, and yeah, the discover feature is actually pretty nice because um, you can um, install an extension by hand and uh, click on discover and it will automatically um, add all the right stuff to, to your database. Um, the, we, we don't really have any feedback uh, yet from people because 1.6, uh, I think your feedback is the first that I've uh, heard so far um, concerning this. 1.6 uh, beta has been out for uh, now two weeks and then um, I think in, in about a month we, we, we can talk about this again. Basically, again, <laughs> yeah. Basically, um, the these access levels um, don't really protect a task. For example, they protect uh, content items. Uh, if you want to protect a task, or, or uh, if you want to make uh, um, an edit function, for example, visible to the user, uh, you would have to um, use the authorize function. This one, is, this is how different. It's um, um, uh, did, did you see the uh, presentation from Andrew or did you? Uh, not, not yet. No, um, let me. Uh, I've got this a little bit prepared here. Um, if you look in the global configuration, there's this permissions tab, and here you can um, yeah, set different permissions uh, for the. Uh, different user groups. Basically, what you want to do is uh, reuse um, most of the tasks from uh, the Joomla core because um, that means if you um, allow something, uh, th those, all those um, permissions that you set um, are um, being applied recursively uh, from um, the basic uh, Joomla permissions uh, up to the component, uh, to the category, to the article. So uh, if I allow um, a manager to uh, create in, in um, if I set this uh, to create um, and allow a, a manager to create items, um, he can uh, create items in, in the complete uh, Joomla installation. So um, if you have something uh, that you 
yeah, want to have a pretty much similar experience, um, like like the create experience for um, in in that extension, uh, then you would um, use the create. Um, Permission. You can um, in in that access uh, um, XML that I uh, um, talked about earlier. You can uh, set a different name for it, but um, internally it's still the create permission. And um, later on, um, you just um, this is your component name, and this is the permission that you're checking against. And um, if we look into the code, let me see if I find an access XML here. Um, you see, we've got different sections. The check, uh, section named component is for uh, the global uh, component, uh, com, com content uh, component. And um, you can see the options. One second. here in permissions. You've got admin, uh, uh, manage, create, delete, edit, um, and edit state. And uh, if you look here, uh, you've got uh, admin, manage, create, delete, edit, edit state. And um, when we are in a category, the category manager automatically reads this access XML and um, takes the section named uh, category. You have uh, only create, delete, edit, edit state. And you could, of course, um, add your own stuff to this. So if, if you uh, need your own um, permissions um, in, in there, you could add those um, there too. For example, let me uh, show you the here you have uh, just the create, uh, delete, edit, and edit state without the um, admin and manage that we've got um, in, in the normal um, com content. Does that help a little bit or? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I've, I've talked to uh, some people earlier today and uh, told them that this widget um, is not really perfect at this moment. We are still uh, looking for someone uh, to taking this task and, and uh, really uh, yeah, making it beautiful and... and um yeah, f for both. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm 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 really uh, um, a little bit um, afraid of that too. But um, I think with the current ACL system, um, it's it's. The, the best compromise of uh, simplicity and, and power that we uh, could make so far. Unfortunately, uh, not really, no. It's, it's uh, basically um, what you can tell your customers is uh, don't touch that uh, uh, tab and, and uh, don't delete any user groups, um, but but that's it. So um, really, turning it off uh, is is um, it's 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 really really difficult. And um, you you can of course uh, can you, you can create a, a user group that's not allowed to see uh, or set permissions. And then um, that permissions tab automatically disappears. Yeah, but basically uh, have, uh, instead of uh, super administrator, uh, you just have your 
basic uh, um, administrator or, or super user instead and, and um, give that different permissions uh, than the super administrator. You, you can prevent a user from um, changing the ACL uh, uh, values if he's uh, got backend uh, privileges. So um, I think Andrew showed this earlier. I hope that it still works. Um, no, stop. Global configuration. And okay, I, I don't have a, um, I don't have a, um, another user on the system. But when I say uh, um, save, that's a problem. <laughs> I'm just going to nuke that, that installation. But uh, now you don't have access to the global configuration in 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 it in its. Uh, um, entirety anymore. So that, that would be the first possibility. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> yeah, um, that's, I think, uh, Klaas, didn't you uh, even work on that? That the, um, or, or uh, no, that was somebody else that's uh, been working on the uh, buttons down there, um, yeah, the quick start uh, uh, buttons, um, that they are um, also yeah, paying attention to the ACL system. It's been um, a bug and it's, it should be fixed at this moment. My, my version isn't completely current. Any more questions? Yeah, I'd be happy. If, if, if you have uh, time, get your laptop and we can start right away. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm still here till uh, tomorrow evening. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. And otherwise, thank you for uh, listening to me ranting. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>